right? What's the curling? Uh, Drunk Man Devlog. Today we're going to be continuing on where the last special effects scene left off. Uh, I've got basically just two or three pages worth of animation to do, just moving the characters to pose the same lines. There's no special effects and no uh, fanciness. And then it be the end of uh, draft one. So I'll start a new scene uh, with the first frame of the last frame of this scene and then carry on from there. Tried using the GoPro, didn't work because I shone it directly at the uh, window, leaving me in such a silhouette there's nothing to see. Not sure why the backup camera's a bit blurry, grease on the lens maybe. Anyway, just <laughs> set up the first scene then. Okay, so that's the new scene set up. Uh, for Cubicle Farm 6, I've fixed all the liquids so that they don't flow anymore and don't have to be calculated. Set up the very first shot. And now we're just going to animate in and see these lines and the staff sniffing the air and running away and get all those post stuff for probably longer than I'm going to work today. First thing that happens is that Drunk Man says the line, so we animate him moving his arm and his head around as he ponders on the difficulty of brandy. So we make them wave their faces in the sky. These first two just do a few sniffs and then we move on to this one who has to sniff hard and actually start running away. And moves through space disgustedly. Spins on his seat. Stands up. And begins to walk away. And waiting for far longer than he can actually be seen. Once his walk is complete, we copy his entire animation sequence into all of the other characters that are also in shot, delayed by a few frames, so that they all just do the same action. Doing some sniffing and walking away. And this staff member is walking through Captain Korea, so he's going to have to do some animation during that time too. We'll make him step around, look around, watch his, as his office disintegrates around him. Mostly moving the feet into position and then balancing his body where the feet seems to go. And that seems to work reasonably well. So Drunk Man does the little, not Drunk Man, Captain Career does a little stagger about. 
and now avoids colliding with his staff member. Set up a camera shot for him reaching us, she leaves. Need to extend that walk a little bit further because she stays in shot longer than I thought she would. So, um, I want him to reach for the staff now. Uh, as he says, no, my staff, he needs to reach. And unfortunately he's got a gun in his hand. And you can't really reach with a gun, it's not the same. And he's got a whip in his other hand, so we're gonna have to make him holster the gun, I think. He can holster the gun, probably while he's still behind that first guy's head at the beginning, so we won't have to actually animate it at least. But holster the gun. Takes me a little while to figure out why the gun moves every time he moves instead of sticking to his holster there. It turns out to be because it's got some child associations in its object constraints. So I just delete all those and set it as the child of the holster itself. It won't be moving in this scene. Then Drunk Man can reach for his staff member. Do a bit more movement as he says his final lines for this bit. He too notices the smell and looks a bit disgusted. We'll worry about the facial expression itself after we've done the lip sync in draft two. Quickly work out the physics for his whip. Okay, so uh, 661 frames done, which is good for now. Um, I think that we'll probably it's probably a good point to stop it there anyway, because the next scene is then crowding around the door, and I'm not going to be doing the animation to get between those two states, so I might as well call it a day and make. Number seven be the one I start on Thursday, maybe, weekend, maybe, whatever. So, uh, that's that. Here's what I did today. Oh, that last brandy chaser went right through me. No, my star. Come back! It's just the smell! <laughs> Ooh. Oh.